Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. Now, one of the most important jobs any country could, could offer is that of firemen, or firefighter as they call them now, uh, because it is a nasty, dangerous job. People often do get hurt or worse uh, in, you know, in doing that job. And of course, it's very and vitally important that we have one. Uh, because, you know, if, if something happens, sometimes they are the ones that arrive there first and actively save lives, even before the ambulance get a chance to have a go and administer their sort of aid. It's the firemen and women that will pull you out of the burning building. Uh, and so we always have a lot of praise for them and well done to them. And I, I stand four square with them. I think uh, they do a marvellous job. Uh, it's not an easy job and that they need to be suitably rewarded. However, what we have here is a problem with not so much rewarding uh, as actually um, punishing because the the budget for firefighters uh, and the whole fire service in Scotland is not just sort of uh, being frozen because of um, problems with um, budgets. It's actively being cut. Uh, and this will endanger lives, massively endanger lives. The risk factor is increasing. Uh, and the experts in the field, the firefighters themselves, are saying that this will put an unacceptable risk on people's lives. And so they are threatening strike action, not because they want something for themselves, but because they say it's the only way to highlight the problems the SNP are going to cause with their massive, draconian and unnecessary cuts to the fire service budget. Let's have a look. So Scottish firefighters consider strike action over devastating SNP budget cuts. It's nice that they're timing this uh, on the weekend before the, uh, the conference, isn't it? Another thing for them to not talk about when they get to Aberdeen. Anyway, the Fire Brigades Union warns that people will not forgive the SNP government if they allow lives, homes and businesses to be put at risk due to strike action. But they feel they have to because even if they don't go on strike, lives, homes and businesses will be put at increasing risk. And so they're doing this to try and, you know, mitigate the risk by highlighting it. Uh, Scottish firefighters are considering industrial action over a devastating package of cuts. Members of the Fire Brigade Union will be consulted on potential strikes amid the cuts imposed by the Scottish government. Cuts they don't need to make. A projected five-year flat cash budget in place until 2027 has already removed 10 whole-time fire engines, 150 retained appliances are regularly unavailable due to significant recruitment and retention issues, the, re the union said. The Scottish Fire and Rescue Service announced the force will need to save a minimum of £14 million next year potentially leading to the loss of a further 339 firefighters and another 18 fire engines. Now, that is going to cost a lot of homes, a lot of businesses, but most important of all, that's going to cost a lot of lives, either those who are actually lost or those who will be significantly burnt, changed, life-changing, damaging fire injuries simply because the SNP doesn't consider firefighters as being vital. Uh, according to the Fire Brigade Union, 1,200 frontline firefighters have been lost north of the border since 2012. The consultation could lead to a formal strike ballot and the union believes that by announcing the move on the eve of the SNP conference in Aberdeen, it could pile pressure on First Minister, First Minister Hamza Yousaf to intervene. It won't though. They've already said they're talking about nothing of importance. They're only talking about independence. They won't even acknowledge that this is a problem. How can they possibly acknowledge it's a problem? They've caused it. And if it's a problem, they don't want to know because they never get anything wrong. Uh, a demonstration is also planned at the Scottish Parliament on October the 26th. Back in August, the FBU, together with firefighters across Scotland uh, for a mass rally in Glasgow, to demonstrate against large scale cuts. Unfortunately, they're still coming down the line. Those cuts will come, um, you know, and it's just going to get worse. And they're, like I said, they're directly putting lives on the line. People 
will undoubtedly die. And for what? A bit of money. John Mackenzie, FBU Regional Secretary, said the cuts we are seeing imposed by the Scottish Government are a threat to the lives, homes and livelihoods, not just of firefighters, but of everyone in Scotland. They will rob Scotland of the firefighters and equipment we need to keep our communities safe. Speaking to firefighters across Scotland, it is clear to us that there is a determined mood among members. After 10 years of cuts, our service cannot take any more. It says the public will not forgive the SNP government if they allow this to end in strike action. In other words, pump some money back in and get some bloody engines going. Get some firefighters back into work. Make sure the cover's there. Open up the stations and protect the people from a ravaging fire which would cause mayhem. Uh, in the summer, firefighters from across the nation gathered on St George's Square, or George Square, sorry, to protest against the planned budget cuts with the message that they would have no other option other than to take strike action, and I don't blame them. Uh, Matt Rack, FBU General Secretary, said, as the SNP gather for their party conference, firefighters have a message for the Scottish Government. These cuts are a threat to the safety of everyone in Scotland, and the FBU has a duty to oppose them. Uh, all right-minded people should be opposing this. Everybody, whoever you, wherever you live, should be opposing this. Imagine you've got a fire in your house and there isn't a fire engine available, or the one that is available is f so far away, it can't get to your house in time. It's ridiculous, isn't it? Uh, firefighters do not move towards strike action lightly. The intransigence of the Scottish Government has led things to where they are now, he says, but it's still time to reverse the course, yeah, by pumping some money in. Uh, the Scottish Government needs to listen to those in the front line of this vital service. But they won't. They won't listen. How can they possibly listen? How can they possibly admit they got it wrong? You know as well as I do that these people are quite incapable of admitting that they get things wrong. They're psychopathic. Uh, a Scottish Government spokesperson said, We're We are providing SFRS with more than £368 million this year, an increase of £14.4 million on 22-23 but not enough. That's less than half the rate of inflation. So it's actually a massive cut in real terms. He said, while recruitment and retention of firefighters is an operational matter for SFRS, we are maintaining frontline services with higher numbers of firefighters in Scotland than in other parts of the UK. Well, that is actually a line of bollocks. Are you telling me there's more firemen in Scotland than there is in England? Because that's what he's just said, and it's bullshit. That's absolute more bullshit. I've just done the video on how they keep lying and how they're going to bring a rule in. Well, they're not going to bring it in, are they? But the rules about all telling lies. And he's quite clearly lying. There are not a higher number of firefighters in Scotland than other parts of the UK. Bollocks, is that true? It's complete bollocks. Anyway, there's more. I guarantee there's more firefighters in London than in the whole of Scotland. So it's, it's just shit. These people can't help but lie all the time. And this is why I say you cannot believe a word that comes out of their lying fat mouths. Anyway, um, strikes, he says, are in no one's interest and ministers will continue engaging with the FBU to discuss their concerns. Nobody wants to give a flying F about discussing the concerns. They want solutions to the concerns. Talking about it achieves nothing. That's all you're going to do at Aberdeen. Talk and achieve nothing. How about actually doing something for once? Break the rules. Actually sort something out and do something. You're all a waste of absolute time, effort and money, aren't you? For, and lying bullshitters as well. Ah, oh, it's enough to drive you to drink, which it will do later. Anyway, I shall stop there. Thank you very much. I'm going to come up and we will finish this video. But it just, you can see why. You can see why I get angry. They just plain lie to your face all the time. The SNP, party of liars. Anyway, coming up. They do this all the time. They cut, they cut, they cut. And then they moan when they realise they've cut too far, but they can't go back. And this is another one of those things where the SNP won't hand any money over. Because to do so means that they've got it wrong the first time. They won't admit that. 
So what are they going to do? They make some lying statement about um, there's already more Scot uh, more firefighters in Scotland than anywhere else, and that's obviously a lie. They boast about they've given 14 million, but you know if you were just to keep pace with inflation, they'd have had to have given them 32 million. So it's a real time massive cut in terms of money, and then they expect the service to still fulfil its its role. It's impossible. It's absolutely impossible. These people know what they're talking about. The SNP haven't got a clue, but they think they do. And that's what makes them dangerous. They won't ever speak to the experts. Meanwhile, people will suffer, people will die. Well done, well bloody done SNP. And that's what happens when these people out there keep voting for the SNP. And when the voters of the SNP are watching the houses burning, burning down and there's no firefighters, who are they gonna blame? They're gonna blame the firefighters, but well, it ain't their fault. It's not their fault that there's no fire engine in your area. It's not your. It's not their fault that you know 1,200 firefighters have been cut. You can blame it all on one party, the one that's doing the cuts. Never mind. Got to learn. Thank you very much for watching. I'm gonna stop now. If you like what you're seeing here on the channel, do please hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, leave a like, leave a comment. Please, please share a video. And until next time, stay safe, stay well. Don't like any fires. And if you see one, please God praise the fact that you can call a fire service and get someone out to put it out. Bye.